afternoon, making up a broccoli salad tonight, so I thought I'd film it. Uh, we've made it probably four or five times in the last couple of weeks, we've just gone crazy on it. Kids are loving the raw broccoli, uh, they keep fighting us for the leftovers, so Bianca and I haven't had it for lunch. Um, the recipe is actually, all well, the recipe, ingredients, quantities are going to be on our blog, Bits Around, um, Bits Around the House. I'll put a link in the description down below, so it's a pretty nice salad, very Moorish like I said, so let's get into it. Okay, we've got a um, small head of broccoli, smallish head of broccoli, um, not our store bought unfortunately. The stem's also been diced up finely, because you can eat the stem and leaves of broccoli, you can eat the whole lot. Um, so that's the first thing to go in, so that's one small head of broccoli. In here I have a small wedge of purple cabbage. Um, that's just sliced finely, well not real fine, but sliced thinly. And to that, get all that purple goodness in. Half a um, large cucumber, half a red pepper or capsicum, and four long snake beans, and a stick of celery. So that's all going in there. There's the snake beans. Up nice and fine. And then as well as that I am adding what's that? Oh, probably a smallish handful of parsley. Now, this is the first flat leaf Italian. This is the first harvest we've had from the aquaponics, so there we go. Some parsley in there as well. And some dressing. The dressing's made up of four of these spoons, dessert spoons of a probiotic yogurt we make up, three of a soy mayonnaise we buy, a little guilty pleasure, and about three quarters of a teaspoon of the seeded mustard, you can see in there, and three quarters of a teaspoon of um, Dijon mustard. So that just all goes in there. And we give it a bit of a stir around. I would use my fingers, but be a bit gluggy. Rightio, and on top of that, I'm going to add, normally I would add about half a cup. I got a little bit um, excited with macadamias. Um, these are toasted macadamias. There's probably a, over, or oh, close to three quarters of a cup of macadamias that I've toasted. And then, um, basically crushed with a plate, like this. Just thought I'd show you my method of um, crushing the macadamia nuts. Uh, it's pretty basic. Um, these nuts have been toasted for a little while, and um, yeah, it's basically just put a, a plate over the top and press. They come out nice and cracked and crushed. So, not totally, not totally crushed. I like a bit of chunk to them, so. Yeah, it just saves you, rather than having a mortar and pestle or anything like that, just a nice easy way to do it. So they'll now just get sprinkled on top and just mix them through as well. I forgot to add them before. I forgot the maca nuts and I also forgot something else. Pumpkin pepitas. Um, we had one pepita pumpkin that um, we were able to harvest. But the seeds are still drying, so all I've got here is a couple of dessert spoons of pepita pumpkin pepitas or pumpkin seeds, hold pumpkin seeds. So they're just going to go in there. Oh, yeah, two will do. Two and a half. So I'll just go in there as well. And I'll mix that around. I actually came across this recipe um, one lunchtime. Um, I was sitting eating. Um, raw broccoli and macadamia nuts for some unknown reason and the pairing just tasted so nice I did a google search and heaps of broccoli salads out there but the um, dressing was what I actually um, picked up on um, I'll put a link to the uh, ladies blog just to give her credit because she gave me the idea for the dressing um, yeah it just goes so nice with the um, broccoli and maca nuts and all the nice crisp veggies in there so yeah Maccas and broccoli, match made in heaven. So there you go. There's my maca and broccoli salad. Very tasty little number. And I hope you enjoy it if you try it. Have a good one.